everybody, it's Leanne from Stamp Latte. I'm here to show you today, in my very first video, how to make these cute little tag topper boxes. This one here has got the um, beautifully Baroque folder on it, very similar to the um, cards I made last week. These ones here, very popular. Okay, these two here have just got designer series paper on them and this is the one I'm going to actually show you how to make today. And this one, here has my little bunny rabbit on the front with his cute little tada ears. I was trying to work out today what to use to um, to make his ears because the punches that I used to use have been retired. So I tried the um, word window punch, it was too long and too thin and the large oval was too wide, and too big for him. And then I found the, butterfly, the elegant butterfly punch. Worked a treat. It's, I've just cut the butterfly in half and just used the top half of his wings to pop behind there okay and then when you turn the box over oh, look he's got a little tail same just the back view of the little bunny and there's the front view again so very cute indeed okay so let's get started what do we need I've got some pieces here to punch out for the little label so I'll tell you about those a little bit later when we make those. That's just a piece of the pool party seam binding. You need two pieces of designer series paper or another piece of cardstock if you're going to emboss them to put them over the top and they are two inches by four and a half on those two so you need two panels of those. This piece here which is your box is 11 inches by six inches. Okay and we're just going to get our simply scored to do our scoring. So we'll do the six inch side first and we're just going to score it at two inches and four inches. Okay. Then we'll give it a quarter turn, then three inches down to the first score line, four and a half all the way, we're down six and a half all the way down. And then eight inches just to that first score line again and we'll give it a 180 degree turn and we will just do the three inches and the eight inches again okay so that's all you need to use the scoring board for so we can pop that away okay so these are the basic markings from your box. You're going to grab your scissors and you're going to cut along these lines here, these centre lines, up to the centre square on both ends. And then we're just going to cut those four edge rectangles out. So grabbing our scissors. To the centre. Don't throw them out because I'll make you good little mats for um, sentiments or images or you can use them to punch things out too. So we're just going to burnish with the bone folder all our score lines. My mat keeps moving. Now that we've done that, we're going to grab our Tag Topper Punch, which is a new punch in the Occasions catalogue. Hopefully it's going to hang around for a long time because I'm really loving this punch. So we'll just open him up. These long pieces here, 
will just feed into the punch as far as it will go. Punch. Feed into the punch as far as it will go. Punch. Okay. And then while you've got your punch handy, we'll do the same on our little panels. And two. This is from the um, the Fresh Prints, which is a uh, paper stack from the Cajuns catalogue as well. And you get 48 sheets, double-sided sheets for just $11.95, so that's pretty good value. Okay, so then what we're going to do with these is we're going to adhere our little panels on. Sorry about the red pattern, it does wonderful things to my eyes. Get the glue happening. Just make sure you go all the way around the edge. I find too that if you use the fine tip of your, your glue bottle, it doesn't um, come rushing out. Okay, so I'll pop them on there and just line that up with your tag. Okay be making these boxes in my tag topper punch class which is next week okay. so if you want to come along to that please RSVP on my website on my Stampin Up website okay so We'll also be making it my concertina card and the tag cards as well. The tag closure card. Okay, so just a little bit of glue just on one edge like that. And then I've done that wrong. I have like so. I'm just gonna wipe this one off here. Okay, so open that up, open that up like so. Okay, all right. So there's your little box, and we'll take that up. Ribbon, which is the pool party seam binding. Okay. So those that do come to my class next week, they will get the um, the printer tutorial for this little box. And I'll have that available on my blog after the class. Oh dear, I'm a bit ribbon challenged today. Whoosh. These are my little pieces that I, I did up earlier. This is just from the, um, the Lots of Thanks stamp set, and I've punched that out with the one inch punch. Okay, um, and then I'm going to layer that onto my postage square, which will then go onto my label bracket punch. Like so, with dimensionals. It's nice and layered, just in the center, it's more than enough. Except for the red one, we'll put a, um, a couple on that one so that it adheres to the box and allows for the bending. Okay, I shouldn't have done that yet. Oh. Okay, not to worry. So I'll pop him on the box. I'll even do him on a bit of an angle. Okay, and the postage square goes over the top of that okay and then you're breeding over that so 
that's my little tag topper gift box. There you have it. So the class is next Friday, next Thursday and next Friday. And the punch is actually included in the class cost. So if you want to come along to that, please let me know as soon as possible so that I can have your punch here so that you can use that here on the day. Okay. Um, and that's it. Thank you for stopping by. Get about a place It'll take creation, imagination Try to draw outside the line